Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I pray that I look ugly. Holy shit. Today I'm gonna show you how you can make some vintage samples and the most that I'm gonna focus on is how you can use all these vintage effects and how you can put them together and get that real vintage sound. So yeah, I'm gonna start with some uh, piano chords. I'm gonna use Keys K for that and let's build some soul kind of piano chords. And after that, I'm gonna show you how you can turn it to a vintage sample. Yeah, let's get started. The grand piano from Keyscape is just like a solid piano. And let's make some chords right now. I'm gonna start in like in any key. That's just like a A minor chord, a A sharp minor seventh chord. It sounds like this. I'm gonna raise that tempo to nine. I feel too slow. I'm gonna take it to. Mm -hmm. I like that. The fifth kind of like an octave because the E is the seventh of the A. So it always works. And I take the seventh down an octave. Sound like this. Yeah, it sound good. Yeah, so I came up with these chords and these chords sounds good. And let's first check them out. And I'm gonna show you how you can turn them more realistic sound by turning the velocity and add some strings and some off notes. So yeah, let's listen to that. So yeah, you get the idea. First, I'm gonna add some strum effect. Add that. And you can right here change the velocity of the first notes or the last notes. Some people use it like this. Changing the velocity or like lowering the, the changing the velocity of the high notes and let the bass like higher. But I choose to, you can add an alternative. Let's add some notes right here. Just some accent notes. Yeah, so I did these and I'm just like basically do this to add a layer to the bass notes. So yeah, just like this. Get it down. Get rid of this. Just like it fills up the, the piano. Mm. Adding that depth to the sound. Yeah, so. Mm. It filled up like it feels a lot like the the low frequencies add a lot of stuff to to the sample a lot of life so yeah right now i'm gonna show you how you can turn these chords to some like vintage kind of sound all right basically i use reels a lot it's a tape machine effect from audio things and i always use like this this preset called the bad tape let's just give the sound like listen to this mm, just like fucking the sample up but what i'm gonna do is taking the wild flutter effect to zero or just like three getting everything down playing with it till i find what i want the harness just give it like a kind of saturation effect Ooh. i'm gonna lower that so we don't blow our ears yeah i'm gonna add some noise and some hiss yeah, that's reels, and just like getting bad tape, taking the flutter and wall effect to 0% or 3, just like a little bit subtle, and playing with the noise till you find something good, and harnish is just like working a, like a saturation knot, so really good giving that growth and depth to the sample. Yeah, after reels, I'm gonna add some wow control from G Hertz, good Hertz. I don't want like too much. I always use this RPM vinyl 33.3. They got like 80, 78, but it's just too much. I love that 33. It's my favorite. And you can choose a lot of stuff. You can play with it. That's what I use as always. Yeah, after route control, I use this low high, also from Good Hertz. And I have a preset to the bass. Just adding fullness to the bass. Call what's going on. Yeah, just like giving that real depth to the sound. I like it so much. Listen to how it got like so in depth. I use these three all the time. And sometimes I play with them till I find the sound I want. But yeah, for now, I, I love what I'm hearing. 
After that, what you want to add is ambience. Ambience, I use it a lot on my vocals and all my samples. Just give the sample that, like, you know, room kind of effect to them. Just like drown and in the mix. That is the sound that I'm trying to achieve. Adding ambience will definitely get your sampling game. Well, every reverb have this sound, but I use Ambience because it's a free plugin and give me the sound that I want. So there's a preset called Dark Cream Bell Room, just like the second preset. Just give the sample like a, a room kind of effect. I take the time to probably like 1500. For my vocals, I always like cut them off. I don't want too much reverb. And take the pre delay, that will cause us some issue with the tempo because it's like 20 millisecond. And take the width to to probably 60. I use 60 all the time, like 61. Leave the size that it is, and just like this. This will make the sample like drown in the back of your mix. While if you want to add drums or vocals or like a artist on it, I'm gonna add some EQ, and that's the shape I like when I see my samples. I always look to this shape. But yeah, I'm gonna take it even more. I'm gonna add some high end, just like make it real open. Take it down. You wanna take some of the mids. It's gonna clean up your sample. Like between two to 500. That's what I always cut. Not too much. You wanna boost around this area. This will give your sample like that, that mid frequency, kind of radio kind of frequency. Too, not too much to make it harsh. Yeah, now I'm gonna bounce it back to the playlist and let's play with the sample and let's try to add some another melodies to, to the sample. Yeah, that is the sample and I'm gonna try to add some vocals to it right now, some emotional vocals. So I'm gonna try my best to sing some catchy stuff. I try to make it work. I try to make it work, baby. Yeah. I try to take it time. I'm gonna try to work. So yeah, I tried to sing some melodies and I found a really good vocals. I'm gonna record it on the sample and ho hopefully it will sound good. These are the vocals, so dry, and I'm gonna process them and I'm gonna tell you how you can make them sit perfectly with the sample. First, you need a EQ to clean them up. Here, right, like 100, 100, 20, it was ambience a lot. Right, take it down to about like 450 and the width to 60, pre delay off. Yeah, now we wanna let them sink into the actual sample. I 
after I record my vocals, I added some effects to them. And I'm gonna show you the high vocals first, the falsetto. All I added is fat filter, EQ, just to EQ some of the high end and some of the low end around 200 to 10k kind of ish and i added a alter boy just uh, two semitones by the format took it down and some ott it's a free compression and i added a ambience effect like i said i use it a lot on vocals and i added for the delay three just to give a delay and i added a automation clip to the delay just to the last uh, words and that's pretty much it i'm gonna add some drums to it just to hear the vibes yeah that's pretty much the sample hope you guys enjoyed this vid so yeah let's keep that love that energy feel free to skip around feel free to ask me anything in the comments yeah that's it peace Thank you.